Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and if you've ever used any lipped style plug, whether it be a diving plug or a trolling plug, or even a jerkbait style lure that has a lip on it, you may run across the problem of the lure not tracking properly in the water. And what I mean by that is as you're using it, it's not running straight, it's not running normal. It's either tracking off to the right or the left, and that's gonna be because of the eye that is either on the lip or the head of the lure. If that eye is bent or turned in any direction, it's gonna cause that lure to go in whichever direction that eye is turned or bent. And now I'm not talking about the split ring uh, that's on there. I actually prefer to take that off and I'll talk about that uh, here in a second, but the actual eye that is fixed to either the lip itself or the head of the lure. Now I do have some underwater footage here that I can show you uh, this in action with the eye being bent to the right, being bent to the left, and also having the eye nice and straight so these lures track properly. So let me go ahead and show you that. So in these first two clips here, the eye is straight as you can see the lure going down the center of the screen there close to that center red line. Now next I have the eye of the lure bent or turned to the left and that's going to cause the lure to veer off to the left or if you're looking at the lure and it's coming towards you it's going to veer off to the right. And just the opposite when the eye is bent to the right or turned to the right the lure is going to veer to the right or your left as you're looking at the lure. So first I wanna show you, you know, how to quickly fix that. It's a simple fix. Uh, all you need is a pair of pliers and then I wanna talk about some uh, reasons why that eye might get bent. So first, to fix it, whatever direction the plug is going in, you wanna turn the eye to the opposite direction. So just take a pair of pliers. It really doesn't take much. I'll go ahead and use this plug here since it doesn't have a split ring on it. But all you're gonna do that eye that is fixed onto the lure, you can either twist it or bend it. And you don't want to move it too much. It just takes a little bit to turn that eye. So if you need to turn it to the right, what I'll do is I'll just grab it and then pull, just slightly pull until it's turned a little bit. And that's all you have to do to fine tune these lures. Now, it'll take a little experimenting and you know testing to get it right but once you have it dialed in, then you're ready to go. And usually after you catch a fish or you get snagged, you may have to retune that eye for it to track properly. And that brings me up to uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is some reasons why that eye will get bent. Now, usually once these lures come right out of the packaging, they're not always perfect. So that is one reason why you may have to tune the eye. Another reason being, you know, after you fight a big fish or Maybe you get hung up on structure or the lip and that eye hits a piece of structure, it may get bent. And then the last reason, the split ring. I actually prefer to take the split ring off uh, just using a pair of split ring pliers. Uh, we sell some on our shop page at fishstrong.com. We actually sell these if you need to grab some. But what I prefer to do is take that split ring off. As you can see this plug here, I took the split ring off and then I will attach my leader using a loop knot. As you can see there, I have a loop knot on there and the loop actually acts basically at like the split ring. It allows the freedom of movement instead of having a knot that is tied snugly to that eye. And another reason why I like to remove the split ring is that because that kind of creates another area where your line can actually get broken off because if you notice on a split ring, it has those two points on it. And if your line happens to rub up against those points, it could break off. And I've actually had that happen before. Uh, so keep that in mind. And also if your sp uh, split ring happens to be, uh, you know, a little cheap and very flexible, your line may actually get inside of the split ring and actually come off. So you don't want that to happen. So again, if you need to fine tune these lures, if they're not running properly in the water, all you have to do is bend that eyelet 
ever so slightly. You don't have to do it a lot. If you move it around too much, you could actually risk breaking that off or uh, dislodging it almost. So you don't want to bend it too much. Just a slight bend in either direction to get it to go straight is all you need to do. So that will wrap up this video on fine tuning your lipped plugs so that they run properly in the water. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you haven't done so already, definitely be sure to check out our shop page at fishstrong.com where we sell all sorts of tackle and equipment and insiders. If you are an insider member, you do get 20% off. So definitely be sure to check that out. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the line today